Hi everyone and welcome to this new Figma tutorial. Today we are going to be creating this cool drop down menu and I honestly love doing this exercise because it was a great combination of the latest Figma features like different type of variants combined with Smart Animate. But without further ado, let's get right into it. The first component that we're going to build is our list element and for that I will start with a text and it will say something like place holder and now I need an icon for my Chevron icon and I will look for Iconify and I'll export this one. Then I'll come here and make this a component called Chevron icon and then I will press option and drag an instance of this component here and then I will put these two under an auto layout. Now I want this auto layout to have a width of 275 and I will center this put a solid white background and add a top and bottom padding of 12 pixels. Then I will make this a little bit smaller. I will change this to 18. And now to make it look that is center, I need to add some padding here to make the text move a little bit to the center. So I'll select here and add 20 pixels to my left. And now let's make this a component and let's change the name to list element and create a new variant. I will change the name of this variant to date. Let's keep the, the first one to default and then the second one will be open. And when it's open, I want my Chevron icon to be flipped 180 degrees. And now I also need to create my other list components that are my categories. So for that, I will need my icon to be to my left. So I will create another variant. But before that, I will create a different property. So this property will be icon position and the default value will be right. Then I will duplicate this one and I will move this one to the left and I will add new and I'll call this left. And now since my icon is to my left, I need to add some padding to my right. So I'll select this one, change this to zero and add 20 pixels here. Now I need to make it easy to change this icon later. For that, the instant swap property is very handy. So I'll select my icon here and select here what it says, create instant swap property. And I'll call this icon and I will export more icons for my categories. So now I want another and last variant that will be when this item is selected. I will make this light gray and I will add a border to, to the left. So I'll select here, add a stroke to the left and I will make these four pixels. And I have a proper a problem with my properties here. That's because I have repeated properties. So I need to change these to selected. And actually for, for this one, I don't want the background to be solid. So I will make it full transparent. Now let's start the fun part that is our drop down menu and drag an instant of this component. And I will change this one to select category then i will duplicate this three times here you go and of course i want this one to be icon left these two icon left and now since i create my instant swap property before it's very easy to change the icon i can come here and select the icon the first one will be house Oops, there's something wrong with our house and that's because I use this component to create the other ones. So let's flip this again, zero here and this one too, zero here. And now we we'll see here that my house is fixed. And of course, I don't need this to be dark gray. This one also, I'll change this to black. And now I need to fix my house that needs to be black. 
cool. And you can also create a text property and that will allow you to change your text here. I will show you how it works. So you come here, select your text and here you can create text property. So I will keep it as text and default value will be placeholder. And that will allow you to change the text right here. And this will be houses. Also, let's change these to cars. And I want the, the icon to be the car, of course. And this one, airplanes. And the icon should be the airplane. There you go. And now before doing anything else, I will change the names of these list elements here. So later when we do the animation, it will be easier for us to, to keep the position of both. So this one will be select category. Then this one will be house. This will be cars or car. And this will be airplane. Cool. And now I'll select these four elements, frame selection, and add a solid background, white background. And here, this one will have a border radius of 10 pixels. And I will make this clip component so I don't have any anything that overflows my, my main container. And now I will make this a component. And I need to have, again, two versions, when it's closed and when it's open. So I will create a new variant and I will change this again to state. This will be close and this will be open. Cool. And when it's close, of course, I only want this to show my select category section. So I will select these three and I will change the Y position to zero. Sorry, before doing that, I'll actually make it so that this one is on top of this one and this one on top of this one. And that will be important for our accordion animation. I'll make the house to be on top, car to be on top of airplane and select category should be on top of the, the three of those. And the same for this variant. That's because we want to have the impression that the elements go underneath the one that is on top. So now I can back here, select the three of these and change the Y to zero. And now all of them go underneath my select category. And that's why I wanted these to have a solid background. And now I can make the size of my frame to be the size of my list element. And this one can be the open state there you go okay so let's add a button stroke for for the open version and this will be like a very light grade something like this and now we can add a an animation let's change this name to drop down and let's add an animation let's come here to prototype connect these two and then when you click this one it will close the drop down menu again and i want these to be smart animate gentle and 500 milliseconds and the same when it close back so gentle 500 smart animate and now let's see how this looks so i'll create a frame here i will call this test i'll add some some gray to the background something like this and some border rays cool so I will select this one option and create an instance and put it here. And now let's see the prototype. I'm here. When I click, I have this bouncy effect that is really cool. And now let's make it more interactive. I will expand this, select these two and create two variants by pressing option and dragging. Now I want these to be house. So this will be the version where the house category is selected so this will be houses and this one should be selected so i will change these to state from open to selected and i want this to be houses too and now let's modify the animations when i click here i want to go here when 
I expand this one. I wanted to go here. I want to click here. I wanted to go here. Okay. So now let's go back to our animation. Click here. I click and go house. And this one show was selected. Let's make this gray a little bit lighter. So come here and our select here in design. Um, let's make it a little bit lighter. Something like this. Cool. And now I will do the other versions really fast because it's basically the same thing. And this is how it looks at the end. Make sure to connect all the dots to have the right animation. And it looks kind of messy at the end, but you have the end result that looks really nice. Here, when you click house, car, airplane, back to house, and you have all the animations working. And that's all I have for this video. I hope you found it really helpful. And if you want to learn more about components and variants, I highly recommend my last week's video where I use it to create a navigation bar. And if you want to learn more about product design in general, follow me and see you on my next tutorial. Bye bye.